we'll see what we can do. Um, anyway, but what I wanted to talk about today is um, your mindset when you go to play league. Um, that's a little better. So uh, I'd say that one of the things that I don't see a lot of people talking about um, when it comes to league is um, your mental attitude. So I'd say in a lot of ways, uh, League of Legends teaches, and I say teaches because there are other ways you could possibly learn it, but um, teaches emotional intelligence uh, to a degree. Um, in League, uh, you have to know what it feels like to become tilted. You know, you have to know the, the emotional feeling that's going on inside your mind, inside your body when you're like, and then you identify like, damn, I'm tilted. Before, like your actions in the game show you that you're tilted. So the whole key to being a better league player in general across the board is being able to recognize when that is when that is coming on. Um, you know, you're sitting there saying, you know, I feel I have this feeling I identify early. And then you say, damn, I'm tilted. I need to do something to make me not tilted. Now, we can talk about how to not get to, or how to do things in the game that make you not tilted, or relaxing things maybe that can relieve your the beginning of tilt. But in this video, we're going to talk about, talk about kind of um, identifying when it is that you might be becoming tilted. So, um, everyone... Everyone has been in that game where you start off real bad. You know, you just 0 2, 0 2 0, no hope from the jungler, whatever. Um, or you're the jungler and you try to invade, you try to make a play, and it just all goes wrong. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Your laner's mad at you because you fed their lane. And you're like, well, fuck, where do I go from here? Because, um, you know, this game cannot get any worse. Uh, it can, can get worse. And it can get worse if you just continue to be tilted. So, how you identify when tilt is gonna go, is gonna happen first I'd say anything anytime that something bad happens in the game something negative check yourself sit there and say I mean aside from trying to figure out what you need to do to correct it check yourself sit there and say you know what went wrong don't just ignore about it don't just rage about it ask ask yourself sit there have a critical moment say what went wrong why did it go wrong and how could I do something better so that it won't go wrong again or um, won't go wrong next time um, and just think through that. And during this game, I'm sure I'll make a mistake. Um, and I'll sit there and think about it because um, it really is that process of self-analyzing and saying, you know, what the fuck happened there? Um, that really makes you become a better league player. So uh, without that, you're not gonna you're not gonna climb from any elo. Um, you're not gonna improve because you aren't uh, taking the time, literally two minutes after a mistake to sit there and say you know what, why why did that go why did that happen the way it did because um, it's literally just that little bit amount of time that uh, can make you improve so or help you improve so uh, we'll go through that kind of process once um, it happens but for now we are playing bot lane um, Morgana versus as um, as Ali, and we'll see what happens in this game. But so that's one way to identify, you know, or to start to identify if you're becoming tilted, um, is asking yourself that question of what went wrong and how you can do better. Um, now, uh, another thing is that <clears throat> I call it your, like your mental attitude. It's that little voice in you that in, in your head that says like. You know, go fuck them up or go balls deep. Like, just go all in after them. Um, and that little voice in your decision making, it fucks you up, right? So you're sitting there you're like, I just hate this guy so much. He killed me. He fucked my lane up. I thought this was going to be a good game of league. He's ruining my favorite game for me. And now what the fuck do I have to do to um, 
kill him. And I'm just going to go all in and fuck him up. Uh, so that little voice can get you in trouble because, um, you know, it says, says things that are contrary to what should be done. It's what you want to do, but it's not what you should do. Um, this Lucian, I just need to stay closer to him so it doesn't happen again. But uh, anyway, so it's what you want to do, not what you should do. Uh, we need to be careful here because my E's on cooldown. Um, so anyway. Uh, it says things that you sh you want to do, but you shouldn't do, necessarily. Um, and how you can identify that is, you know, by that critical thinking process, after you've made a mistake, um, you sit there and say, you know, what the fuck went wrong? Um, and you sit there and say, you know, well, right before you analyze yourself and you say, well, right before that happened, um, Sally's going to go in. You say, you know, right before that happened, I said this to myself. You know, I was sitting there and I was thinking, you know what, well, fuck this guy. Like, I'm just going to all in. I can kill him. Um, or you have that, you know, that thought process that goes on or that voice in your head that tells you something. Um, and when that happens, um, he's dead. Rip, back up. You don't have heal. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I did not think about that before it happened. Whatever. This solution was going so hard. I go hard in the motherfucking pain, nigga. Anyway, sorry I got distracted. Uh, <clears throat> you know, you look back and you say, wow, I said this to myself right before that it, that death or whatever happened. Um, and so, you know, then from that point on, you're like, okay, next time that that voice happens, next time it says this, for me, I'll tell you what mine is. So, um, for instance, I die mid, go back mid. Um, I start like... I, I turn like half black or half gangster. I don't even know what it is. And I'm just like, come at me, bro. And I'm just like, start cussing at him. And I'm just like, what the fuck? Come at me, bitch. Like, you can't, you can't do anything. You can't touch me. And I don't even know why. Like, that's not even, I don't know. It's just my personality. I don't know. But, uh, and, and that's what it is for me. And I, I identify that. And from now on, I know that when that voice is happening, I can't, uh, I need to back off right there, right then. Um, so, that's the start to identify maybe that voice for you. Um, I'll try to challenge him a little bit on the farm here. Uh, no, no, no. Good trade though. Um, <clears throat> Lee's top, so we can be aggressive here. So that's that's the voice uh, that I think about. Um, another thing is, uh, I got him, dude. We're fucked. Feels bad. There's nothing we can do. This kid's dead now. My shocker goes to help him out. Just letting him basic attack you to death. You could actually do something. Oh my god. So, this game's like this. I mean, it's not definitely not going well for us. Um, you know, what do you do? How do you maintain your composure so that you're not frustrated the entire game? Um... After something happens, think about it. So we sat. Th I, I sit there and I say, well, you know, we were really pushed up. I'm not paying as much attention to the map as I probably should because, one, I'm the support. 
two, I'm talking to y'all. So um, as far as warding and thinking about where people are in the map, I'm not thinking as much about it. So there's no one to blame but myself. If I had had better vision, um, you know, I would have been able to see where she was coming from. Get the fuck off me, kid. Leave me alone. Like, I'm just trying to ward here, bruh. I can ward right here. That's fine. I'll ward again here. What you gonna do about it? Nothing. Um, anyway, so, I mean, that's part of the voice right there. Uh, is saying, you know, what the fuck? Like, leave me alone or whatever. Um, so that could be even a part of it. Uh, however, that's not really... Like, I was just saying that because fuck him. Um, now, so we we covered that it was only my fault that we died there because I wasn't paying enough attention. And so as far as blaming someone else, if it was truly that, you know, Lucian completely, like, left me Bye, or Felicia. I don't even know, um, the mid laner had it pinged, you know, that's part of it. But still, your map awareness should be high enough at this point that, you know, you can recognize when someone's right there in River and you can say, okay, I need to back off right the fuck now or we're both going to die instantaneously. Now, we were caught up in an engagement, and so it was more of a, um, a problem, but uh, <coughs> I should still be more map aware than what I was. So, um, stop blaming other people. Uh, if you're blaming someone else, that could be an, a sign of your, of your voice. Um, if that's the first thing that happens to you when you start to tilt, you, you start blaming other people, you need to look at that and you need to say, you know, critically... Why am I blaming other people? Am I blaming other people because I'm mad about how I'm playing? Or the trade that I took or the kill that I lost? Whatever it could be. Um, we need to be careful here. Alistar's flash is up very soon. Um, and he can flash onto Lucian. Fuck him up. So They don't have vision here. Um, so anyway, that could be part of your voice. Is uh, You start blaming other people. Um, wow, S has three kills. We are really not in a good position to try to trade with him. Um, well, I missed that puddle completely. Uh, just keep basic attacking him for gold. So that could be part of your voice. Um, Another thing uh, could be, I don't have, oh fuck. Oh! So not close. Um, whatever. That's okay. I killed him, so that's not good. Took another kill from ADC. Uh... I was trying just to get a Jesus. I was just trying to get a snare on to Ezreal, but that's okay. Um, we could still get one on him. Oh, I'm dead. Psych. No, I'm not. He could definitely kill both of us if he was legendary. I thought he was going to go in there. I think Ari's coming down. Possibly. We got the first turret. Yay. Um, that Lucian needs to be careful. Uh, yeah, he should have been careful, bruh. It's an Alistar. You can dive you, no problem. Um... Anyway, so I mean that that could be another part of it. Uh, you know, I'm blaming Lucian for staying under tower, but I uh, you know I could have stayed. I could have stayed even though I had low health. I could have stayed to because I knew that you know he was that Alistar was back. I saw him. So um, essentially, it's as much my fault that he died as it is his because he stayed, um, and that was a bad choice. Now, was it a bad choice for me to leave? No, not really. Um, it was probably the right choice, uh, but you never really know. He's dead. Got him. Nope, don't got him. 
get back up, back up. Um, so, I mean, I could have blamed myself there too, uh, is all I'm saying. And so recognize when that happens so that you're not constantly blaming your team. Um, what's another way? Uh, we could talk about not being where you know you should be. And I'd say this is mainly for junglers. There's this this jungle complex, I would call it. Um, and what it is is that when you are so, like, I, I guess personally offended, is how I describe it, um, that you either you haven't been successful jungle or um, your laners have not helped you be a successful jungler. Um, God, I'm, that was amazing. Max max distance. Uh, mid needs help. He got fucked up. Ari is also a kill ahead of him, but still. Uh, I'm going to roam mid here because they're going to go drag anyway. Uh, I think. <coughs> but anyway, uh, jungly. So, um, when a, a, a gank doesn't go the way you want it to go, um, and you sit there and you're like, you know what, fuck these guys. Um, they're not helping me at all try to be, to, to have successful ganks, or they're not, um, or I was unsuccessful ganking anyway, so I'm useless trying to gank, and I, so instead of providing that map pressure that I know I should be doing, I'm just going to farm to try to catch up. Now, is that incorrect all the time? No, it's not. Um, sometimes you do need to catch up in leveling because one, all of your objectives, like your dragon and this stuff, when you smite, you're going to be behind and you could do less damage, be less successful, successful in objective trading. So no, not all the time is it bad to try to farm to catch up. But if you have that moment of saying, you know what, fuck trying to gank, I'm just going to farm to catch up or get ahead. Um, that's essentially, you know, pretty incorrect uh, because... Yeah, I should have leveled up my black shield, honestly, first. But anyway, um, that's incorrect because uh, most likely your laner, you know, is providing enough. Oh, my God. Nice, nice, nice. Nice, nice. Back up, back up. Come to me, come to me. He is not dead. Bummer. Still got him. I don't know how that snare caught him, but it did. Definitely could not have aimed that and it actually landed it that way. But anyway, um, because your map presence and your pressure provides mistakes, um, that's essentially what you're getting out of um, that map pressure is the mistakes that the enemy gets to make because they're so concerned about what you are doing. I don't know what you're doing, dude. You're dead as fuck. Later. I'll just go this way. Should I be fine? Am I going to be okay? We'll see. Try the old switcheroo. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Why didn't you be? Because uh, I couldn't. I was surrounded. Uh, so, I mean, stuff like that. Now, is is Echo's response to me? He said, Morg, why, why didn't you back? Straight inting. You know, was that an intentional kill? To them, no. I want to win this game. I'm, you know, I'm just as much involved in this game and wanting to win as anyone else. Um, so, uh, no, I don't want to win. I don't want to lose this game. I'm trying my hardest um, besides kind of being distracting by streaming at the same time. But, um, you know, I was surrounded there. So is his response appropriate? No, it's not really. Um, it's an emotional response because he's mad that we're almost losing, which we're not, actually. We're very close to...
Um, I could engage on him, but he'll just... I'm fucked here. That's okay. Got a kill. Traded. Uh, dude, stop. Stop overextending. What are you doing? You're by yourself. Nice. Could he kill him? I bet he could. He doesn't have a ward for that bush, so it's dangerous. What is he doing? He's disconnecting. I don't know what that was. But um, anyway, um, is his re was his response, you know, res a accurate or appropriate response? No. Um, he was probably a little pissed, um, mainly because he, you know, broke even in lane. Or maybe he started off well, but hasn't been doing well recently. So maybe he's starting to tilt. So I'm not going to let his tilt tilt me. I'm just going to mute him. You know, at that point, he's not offering anything positive to me playing this game. Um, he's just being negative. So uh, that's another, you know, tool you guys can take from this, I guess, is, you know, just don't be afraid to mute people. Um, oftentimes, anything below uh, gold, elo, most of the shit that you're going to hear in chat is going to be pure garbage anyway. Uh, not worth listening to, and um, just not worth anything. Oh, who? Psych. Psych. Double psych. Uh, you know, so don't be afraid to just shut people up. Um, I'm going to stay mid, I think, here. So this is them pushing. We can make a play with Ziggs and... Um, him coming up, they're looking like they're going top to dive Lucian possibly. So I'm gonna ward here, just to provide vision with my body. Um, so anyway, uh, identifying also like in conversation in the chat, like when people are negative towards you and that they're not gonna be a you know a positive, positive thing in the game. Um, they're not worth talking to. Honestly, they're not worth your stress. They're not worth the tilt that they're going to give you, most likely. Um, so just mute them. Don't be afraid to do that. Uh, this Echo is being really ballsy bot. Uh, he's by himself. Um, I can't help him much. He's dead. I don't know where, I don't know how he got out of that from Alistar, but he did. Nice. Um. It's just no getting out of that. They have better vision than us. Um, what I should have gotten is this, because I'm not thinking, because I'm talking. Anyway, so I'm not playing the best, but... I'm going to avoid getting tilted this game by doing some active things in the game. So, what, if you are getting tilted, like I kind of am because I'm going negative, not playing that well. Um, think of things that you can do in the game that are the reason you play the game in the first place. So, the reason why I play Morg is because I genuinely enjoy snaring the fuck out of people. Getting those max range snares are amazing. And just her utility, what she provides, is fucking awesome. So, anyway, what I'm going to do is whenever I make something good happen, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to notice it, I'm going to take a second and I'm going to think about it, okay? Now, of course, I mean you say obviously if, you know, that's an easy way to be positive in any scenario in life is just to recognize the things you do well. Well, yeah, it's simple to say, but how how often do you practice that in your everyday life? Not very often. Um I missed that scenario, but that's okay. So, when I do something well, um I'm going to take note of it. And just gonna take a second. Not doesn't take long. Got him. Right there. Max range snare. I love it. And that kid's pissed. Um So anyway. Uh nope. Yep. Hell yeah. Free engage. Uh, I'm not gonna take it, I guess. Cause I didn't have to flash, I had black shield. That's okay. Um, and also forgiving myself. I'm going to forgive myself by saying, you know, it's okay. It's okay that I did that wrong. It's okay that I didn't do something perfectly. 
Um, because it doesn't have to be perfect for me to win the game. Oh, I kind of denied the purpose of what I was doing. Uh oh. Um, so, you know, that was a good disengage by me. And I'm going to notice that and I'm going to say, you know, good job. In my head, of course. Oh, I'm dead as fuck. Assassin Ezreal. Um, you know, I'm not doing that good. Not doing that good this game. But I know that I've had better other games. So, also taking a moment and saying, you know, when have I had a really good game? Um, recently I've gone, like some disgusting like z zero two and twenty five or some shit like that and I know that I have done that and so it's like y of course you're not thinking about that because you're in the middle of a game but um, you know you can sit there and say you know I know that I'm good at this champion I know that I'm good at this game regardless of how I'm playing right now um, and it's that positive self-talk that you're like you know what I know I'm doing shitty right now. I know that I've missed every center of this game, whatever it is. Um, I've missed every Q as Lee Sin. I've fucked up every kick. It doesn't matter what it is because um, you have been successful in the past. Uh, and that's all that matters. So, um. Uh oh. They're being ballsy here. I mean, isn't bad, but can be disastrous. Nope. Job. Gotcha, bitch. You've got to be kidding me. The one minion that's there. Shit like that. It's shit, it's shit like that that's tilting. you got to be honest. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Where did that minion come from? No one knows, but it showed up right at the motherfucking right time. Um, and I, Just laugh about it, too. You know, some shit, it's just funny. It, it is unfortunate. It fucking sucks. But at the same time, it's just like, you know what? I never would have imagined that that would be the shit that fucking happened, and it did. So... Like that. that. Fucking beautiful max range stun. You know what? Give yourself credit. You are a good player. And regardless of whether you're, br you're bronze, or you're plat, you're master, you're challenger, there are going to be mistakes that you make. I was watching a peanut video or a faker. No, I was watching a faker video today um, on YouTube. And it was like, um, it was just like fake, just fake stuff faker had done. Um, and one of them was fucking, uh, what am, what am I trying to get? I gotta think for a sec. Um. Oh man! Oh god! 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 This, this is what I need. Um. Anyway, so um, there was stuff that Faker had done. So I was like, "All right, expecting some great shit." He had failed like three flashes in that one video. I was like, "Huh." The best, the acclaimed best player in the world, best player in the world, still makes flash fails. Like, it's possible. Um, so I sit there, and after seeing that, I'm just like, you know what? It's okay that I made that mistake. Uh, it's okay that... Oh, Oh, I don't have flash. I'm dead as fuck anyway. God damn. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter, honestly. That one kill, does it do much for them? No, it doesn't. So that's another thing you can try, is um, minimizing your mistakes. He is dead. Yeah. So minimize your mistakes. Um, nice. Oh, he flashed away from it. Uh, minimize your mistakes. You know, I made a mistake there. I got caught. Now I'm not really thinking. And I, I can... There's no reason. There's no reason I shouldn't blame something, but not my, my not my teammates. So right now I'm gonna blame the fact that I'm talking to y'all and, and not really thinking about this game. I'm gonna blame y'all. 
I'm blaming y'all for my sucking ass at this game. Uh, no. Um, you know, it's my inattention. I'm not paying attention. So, uh, don't worry about it. Uh, you know, those mistakes you make because everyone makes mistakes regardless if you're a pro, pro player or not. Um, it's all about how often you make those mistakes. And if you can minimize how many mistakes you make or how often you make a mistake, that's really what you're going to go for to be a better league player in general, generally speaking. Um, so, uh, <coughs> there's that. What else can you do? Um, minimizing your mistakes. So, another thing I can blame it on, that death that I just had um, over here, is, you know what? I'm not really worth that much. I'm 2, 7, and 5. I'm more gone. I'm the support. So, if I die, it's not really that big a deal. Um, fail. Uh, back up? Question mark? Run? Um, so, you know, it's not that big a deal. Say that. Got him. Something good I did. That resulted in a pure kill. All completely because of me. So, take credit. I'm going to keep him away. I'm going to keep him alive. I'm going to kill him. Psych. That resulted in a kill. That was good. We want to protect him. We want to CC him. Nope. Worked that up. He flashed. So you know what? I'm doing good things. Uh, he's being really ballsy right now. It's not really working out for him that well. Um, I don't know if we can do this with just us three. I don't know if we should do this because Lee sends up. Um. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Don't take it. Don't take. Don't be too hard on yourself, because Lord knows if you're hard on yourself in this game, you are not gonna enjoy fucking playing at all. Because you will make mistakes regardless of however good you ever will be. So um, you know, be light on yourself. Have fun with it. Uh, another thing. So we talked about. Uh, talked about <coughs> what, um, we talked about minimizing your, st your mistakes. We talked about having fun with it. We talked about blaming things that aren't your teammates. Um, talked about enjoying things that really were the reason why you play this game in the first place um, and the ch and the enjoying things about your champion that you that is the reason why you're playing them like Lee Sin um, if ever I start start tilting or doubting myself as Lee Sin I'm just like you know what no I haven't I haven't landed a single kick that was good this game or um, I haven't hit a single Q or you know I haven't ganked a single person successfully I uh, no, you may haven't um, but but uh, you are still a good Lee Sin. Uh, it's too close, too far. Fucking A. I'm not paying attention, I'm dead. I'm dead. Um, fucking A. He's dead. But that was major damage on his part. Um, that was a really good play. I was too focused on trying to see evolution there. I thought he just kicked. What? Nice. I got this. I got it. Nice. There should be Baron and Drag for us, maybe. Nice. Good job. Um, noticing when your team's winning, I'd say. I mean, that seems like not even something. Oh, she got a double kill. 
That's not good. So they must have vision to be able to get that double kill. Or maybe not. Maybe she's just a boss and decided to go wandering into the jungle. What the fuck? Wee's not dead anymore, but I think we can still get this with him up. Ari is warding. Now she's destroying my control ward. Um, so, looking at the fun things about playing the role that you're playing, or the champion that you're playing. I say we go on on this, but... I guess that's not the best idea. Um, noticing when you're, you know, doing well is just as important, I guess, as identifying when you've done something well. So, doing well is kind of like the the culmination of your entire game. Like, you know, up to this point, I've done everything well. Um, I guess it's just the same way, of, or another way of thinking about. Um, that you have, that you are a good player, or that you have been a good player in the past, um, is saying, ooh, uh, is saying, you know, up until this point, I've done some really good things as a player, uh, and because I've done these good things in the past, and I, because I've made a mistake, it's not really that big of a deal, you know? So what, I, uh, Oh, I should have kept running forward there. That's okay. Should be careful here. Um, I'd say that's it's kind of all I got for you guys. Uh, as far as um, nope. God, this is. I gotta save my snare for when he tries to do shit like that. There's no doubt it's going to happen during a fight. And that's really when we're going to catch him. It's a very interesting Shaco build. It's not bad. It's just interesting. They don't have Ari. We should engage. Hmm. Echo's going in here. I actually got that snare. Didn't even think I got it. The fade away snare. Um, so that's kind of all I got for you guys as far as you know, positive thinking and uh, how to avoid tilting. Um, or how to self-analyze, I guess, more along the lines of that. Um, or realize when you are tilted. Um, if you guys have anything else that you've thought of, let me know in the comments in ways that I can improve as well because I'm looking to improve just as much as y'all are. Um, oh, hello. I missed that snare. It's okay. How did that Alistar survive? What the fuck? Jesus. So tanky. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Got Ez behind us? Nope. Missed everything. How is this kid still alive? I don't have black shield. We should go Baron. They may have vision. I shouldn't be the one tanking this, but... Nice. Good work, y'all. Um, I mean... Realizing that it's okay to be carried, too. Um, I would say that's something. I'd say that's something. 
Um, what should I even get at this point? I don't even know. Uh, armor to deal with everyone. Uh, that's another activation. Um, I guess it's mainly for more tanky uh, supports, but that's okay. Uh, we'll go for it because I we really have very key people to take care of on our team. Um, I don't know. I don't. I don't play support very often, so if y'all think I'm garbage at support, it's probably because I am. Um, what was I gonna say? Uh. That's what I was going to say. Click speak. Uh, we need to group. Be careful. Group, group, group. They're backing. We're not. Nice. How, how did... Oh. Oh, fuck. Got him. No, 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 no. Oh. This game may be over. Got him. Nope. Got him. Got him. So that's it. That's all. If you guys have any questions, um, if this video is helpful, anything, um, let me know in the comments. I really appreciate your guys' comments. I'm a relatively new YouTuber. I've been kind of putting videos up every once in a while for a long time. But um, I'm getting really starting to get into it more often. Um, streaming every day and uploading pretty often. So, um, I am looking at those comments. I am appreciating those comments. Uh, if I've helped you at all, um, that's great. Fantastic. I hope you'll watch more of my videos. Uh, I mostly post educational kind of stuff, uh, how to be better at league, um, what you should focus on, what you should be concerned about rather than, um, I guess just pure gameplay. Uh, I'm gold one, so I'm kind of just, just below garbage trash um and yeah i hope you enjoyed so thanks guys and to come back again for more fun nine control words purchased seven destroyed 50 placed we're doing all right we are doing all right could have had a better game but that's okay i don't i don't support I got a c plus it's like it's like good good job you're actually a piece of garbage so it's this is what a c plus means d plus is like you should uninstall b is like no you're actually just like a, a marshmallow garbage and then a i don't even know what that means a is like you you're all right